Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave, episode 76. Today, I'm going to be looking at a board game because I want to know what happened to Mousetrap. Now, I have to confess, I never had Mousetrap when I was a kid. Um, I don't know why I didn't have it. I didn't ask for it for Christmas when I was a kid. I didn't, or, or anything. And, you know, I didn't, I don't know why I didn't want it. I mean, I always saw the commercial and I thought it was so cool. Maybe it was because I thought it was a little bit too complicated. I mean, I have to admit it. The uh, the, the board looks crazy. I mean, it, it looks like you spend more time putting it together. And it looked awesome. And I've seen them. Like, I, I do... I, I frequent the thrift shops every once in a while. And I've seen them there. The, the classic uh, mouse trap. And um, I always hesitate with thrift shops because you never know if there's going to be parts missing and stuff like that. You're going to buy it, bring it home, and it's like, oh, there, you know, half of the game is not there. And I'm not going to sit there and pull it all apart in the store and try and, you know, you know, it's, it's just not worth it to me. So, unless I wanted to really track it down, you know, go on eBay or something and look for one that someone that's selling it at a higher price and telling me that it's all complete and whatever, whatnot. So, okay, fine. But, you know, I have a daughter and uh, I thought she might like the game. And I thought this is a good opportunity to buy it, so I thought, yeah, let's let's get Mouse Trap. And so, um, you know, one of one of her, uh, I guess, you know, I think it was a Christmas present or something. I I told my my brother, I was like, you know, get her Mouse Trap. That'd be cool. She'll probably like it. And so uh, we got it, and uh, I was like, what happened to Mouse Trap? They've changed it. And even when I was in the the, the Toys R Us and in the stores, and I've looked at them, I'm like. It looks different, and so this is what it is today. I mean, I mean that looks cool. The box art looks cool. It's pretty thick. It's a big box, you know. And when you turn around and you look at that, you're like, wait, that's not what I remember. <laughs> so something changed, okay? Now I never had the game, but I do remember the commercials, and I did actually just look at one of the commercials and I wrote down. Uh, so. Just turn the crank and snap the plank and boot the ball right down the chute and watch it roll and hit the pole and knock the ball in the rubber dub tub which hits the man into the pan. Now the trap is set. Here comes the net. That is what was I remember. You know, obviously I had to write it down because I'd probably screw it all up if I tried to memorize that. But I do remember it in my brain. Like, I do remember the commercial all the time and, you know, the kids had the thing and it was all, you know, everything was happening. You're like, oh, that looks so cool. So I'm like, this must be similar, even though it looks different. But what I'm looking at there, I'm like, okay, first of all, where's the, you know, where's the man? Where's the boot? Okay, they have the boot. Okay, where's, uh, you know, uh, all this stuff. So they have the tub. They got some giraffe in there. Uh, so it looked like they added more wild animals. They got some kind of hippo. So let's, like, take a look at this thing. It's a big, heavy, or not heavy, but, you know, thick box full of stuff. And I'm um, like, you know, this is not, uh, it's okay. So, first of all, the, they, they replace the dice with this. So, you got this spinner that looks like a cheese wheel. You're spinning this cheese thing around. Um, and I looked through the instructions, because it looks like you got these two paws here on, on some of them, right? And I'm like, so what does that mean? Um, in the instruction manual, it doesn't say anything. It just, whatever. It just says, you spin... Uh, whatever color it lands on, that's the color you go to. I'm like, that's it? You just spin, you just move to the next color? Okay. Uh, that's kind of boring. So, um, we, we kind of started playing it like if you hit that two paw, you can move to two colors. So I added a little bit of speed to this game. Because frankly, this game runs a little bit slow. Actually, now I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man. Anyways. So we got the uh, board, which is now circular shape. It's no longer, it's like, this is hard plastic. You can hear that. It's all plastic. You know, pretty good. I mean, you know, the cardboard. But I, I'm sort of used to board games always being cardboard. Maybe that's why they always call them board games, because they were cardboard. Now they're plastic, so maybe they should be called plastic games. I don't know. So we got these all these parts. You gotta you got these little funky loop things. You gotta like kind of attach it together, and then you get this whole cheese wheel thing. You know, so you get this cheese wheel. It's kind of awkward to hold up, but uh, yeah. And uh, 
And then they give you all these, like, you know, it's crazy because they give you all these parts in the box, like, it's just, just big enough to fit it all in there. Like, I, I'm, like, cramming this stuff in there to try and close it, which really annoyed me because I'm like, I can't get it into this thing. Look, look. You gotta kind of shove it in there. Look, the box is warped from me trying to shove it all in there. It must go in there one way and one way only. And any other way, you're not getting this sucker in. So it's kind of annoying. It's got this window thing and stuff. And you know what else they did? They, they kind of like the bottom of this thing. You can see there's holes here. So I can totally see parts starting to fall out right, right away. You know, like there's marbles in here and stuff. What, what are they thinking? Oh, well. Okay, well, let's move on. So they got this thing, you know. Okay, so that's, you know, the trap. It goes down. It still catches. I believe it attaches to this this contraption with this monkey. Uh, <laughs> I think the monkey holds it. So they, they kept that kind of uh, piece to it, you know. Like this will come down and, and uh, I guess, cap, capture the mouse. And they, they've changed the, the mice. Like, I remember in the commercial, the mice looked like... They look like real mice. This looks like, uh, I don't know, Pinky and the Brain style mouse. Or, you know, some of those other kind of, you know, big floppy ears. Not bad, though. I mean, you can grab them by the ear and move them around the board. So, that's okay. Um, but I'm still, you know, wh why did they have to get rid of the die concept and put a spinner in there? Uh, yeah, and they got the tub. So, you can still have the tub. But uh, the tub doesn't, you know, in, in, in the other one, it looked like there was a, you know, flip a man in there. Now it's just, uh, what do they do? They, just this, uh, where'd he go? It was, oh, this, this giraffe. <laughs> they give you a giraffe. Instead of a man going flipping into it, which will look cool, they have this giraffe that just goes plunk. And then, <laughs> uh, well, sorry, yeah, I think it's that way. So the marble sits on, on this little nub here. And so you, you literally just line it up, and this guy goes plunk. And what I'm noticing is that, because it's all plastic, and if you know plastic, you know plastic is never perfect. So what's happening is it's triggering, and it's going like this. And it's totally missing the tub. So then you have to, like, move them over. You just got to hit it with your finger. Because you're going to put a ball bearing, this ball bearing thing, you're going to put it in the tub. Like that. And then it's going to get knocked over. And then it falls down this hole. So, uh, you know, it, it's a little similar, but it's still not the same. And then you got the, you know, here's your boot. So, instead of turning a crank, which was in the beginning of the song, you know, turn the crank, snap the plank, and this is just a boot. So you just, like, hit the thing with the boot. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, even with this, it's like, uh, let's see if they got the uh, picture on the back there. Yeah, like you're kicking that bucket, which is this thing. So you're going to have this bucket hooked up this boot just kicks the bucket which has the marble in it and it just goes Oop, and the marble rolls down very very similar simple uh construction it just goes down this little elevator path like we and then that's it you know in the original one it was like this full-on this they're just like here have an alligator um yeah and then they give you a bunch of and then, and then they got this like fat hippo guy that uh you know so obviously they kept with the full animal kingdom theme, and uh, I guess they're like kids today, like animals. So let's keep the animals. And so what he does is part of the board. I'll just take a fragment of the board here. Um, he will teeter on here. Where are we? Right there. He teeters on the board. He just sits there like that. And then eventually, when the track is sprung, he gets kind of whoop. Drop them. He gets booted off into this uh, blue spring thing, like that. And once that happens, it springs this thing, which then drops, whoops, it's upside down, which then drops the trap, like that, and it catches your mouse. So you can see it's a little bit similar, um, but I mean, frankly, after I set this up, playing it was really boring and um, like even setting it up was very simple I'll just do this again because I'm not going to set it all up and, and you know it's, it's just whatever you can see a picture of it it's, that's that's really all it is there's nothing to it and the board itself I mean it's so small let's see if I can click this in just to give you an idea of what the board looks like nowadays 
as a full. I mean, it's not too hard to put together. Um, that That's probably the only good thing about it is that I, I think the original one was probably a little bit more challenging. And I remember hearing people saying they used to just set it up just for fun, just to set the board up. <laughs> and, you know, that, that's the whole board in action. So you see, you don't have a whole lot of spaces. Like, you literally, where's your start, start area? It's like, I think it's where the, uh, I think you start where the boot is. Oh, sorry, no. You start here, where the arrow is. So there's an arrow. You start there. So you're just, like, literally going around this little track, spinning. So you spin, you go to purple, say, spin again, you go to green, or so green, blue, and then, you know, spin again, you go to the orange or wherever, and then whenever anybody's on this cheese area where the trap would be set, um, the other player has to land on a boot, and if they do that, they flick the, the thing, and then they get a trip. Now, I noticed when I was looking at pictures of the original one that they actually had things written on the spaces. Um... Again, I never had it, so I never really focused too much on what the board looked like. But I could have swore there was more to the game than that. I mean, you rolled a die, you got to move your guy, there was things written down. There, I don't know why they had to dumb it down so much. I mean, this this is like ridiculous. This isn't uh, this isn't mousetrap that I remember, and, and I don't know why they had to do that. Um, you know, ages four and up. Uh, well, I'm four and up. Um, Two to three players, it makes sense. Um, now, I did notice, mind you, uh, like when we first set it up and then we started playing it, um, the first game we played just, just seemed like it was taking forever. I'm like, this is boring. We're just going around in circles, going around in circles, going around in circles. Because, you know, it has to all line up properly just before you can even spring the damn trap. But then uh, after we changed the rules, like I said, with the two paws on this uh, cardboard spinner thing they give you instead of a die, and we were able to move the two spaces. I found the game moved a little bit faster, but still, there wasn't a whole lot to it. And then, one game we played, I decided to add in the third player. And, and it's like, okay, so we'll just take turns playing that third player. And that seemed to speed it up. But again, it didn't really... I mean, all you're doing is just hoping someone landed so you could spring the trap and catch a mouse. You know? I don't know. Whatever happened to Mouse Trap? I guess they figured... Kids need something easy. Parents need something easy to put together. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll release the classic mousetrap. They've done it with some of the other video, uh, board video games. Board games. Uh, i got video games on the brain now. Uh, like I did a thing on Monopoly and um, how they've made all different Monopoly games. And then, and then they, you know, eventually they make the classic Monopoly. Uh, they went through a whole stint of games where they were like, this is the classic life, the original life. This is the classic Scrabble. This is the classic, you know... Sorry. So, the clue. So maybe, maybe, they'll they'll go back and recreate the original mousetrap. Otherwise, I guess you just gotta hunt them down at garage sales, flea markets, you know, thrift shops. Go into your, uh, your aunt's attic. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta find them. Unless you've kept yours from when you were a kid, then that'd be cool too. Anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd show this because this is this kind of irked me when I got it. I was just like, this isn't mouse trap. This is it's okay. It's it's fine. I mean, we played a few games of it. It was okay. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just it's not mouse trap, and I wanted mouse trap. Damn it. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Sorry for the rant. I don't know why I decided to do mouse trap, but uh, it's just something that just caught my my attention, and and mouse trap was a big commercial of the '80s. So I just thought, let's just throw it out there. Let me know what you think, if you've played Mousetrap, if uh, you were a fan of the game. And I'm sure you've seen the commercials back in the 80s. If you're my age, you probably remember it all the time and possibly even own the game. And I didn't. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. I'd like to hear your opinions. Hope you subscribe to my videos. Talk to you later.